Yeah, it's very funny, actually, because I my dad was a doctor, so I always thought I wanted to do medicine. And, and in high school, speaking of high school, I uh, would volunteer at the, the hospital, the local hospital in Tampa over the summer for like two years. And I was like, I don't know that I'm cut out for this. Um, so I went to the University of Florida out, out of plant, um, about two hours north of Tampa, and thought I wanted to do sports journalism, broadcast journalism, um, specifically on the sports side. And I always say I got to a point probably about my junior year of college where I liked it, but I wasn't passionate about it to the point where like I had a lot of classmates that went on and went to very small markets and covered high school sports and, you know, the middle of nowhere, Michigan, no offense to the middle of nowhere, Michigan, but I just knew that it wasn't necessarily the thing for me. Not that I wasn't willing to put the work in, but more so that I just didn't think that I cared enough about reporting to, to do that. So I always, it's funny now, like you get these college kids that reach out, kids that reach out to you, you know, to hear like, you know, how was your path and how can I get into sports? And I always am like, I feel like I'm aging myself. But when I was about to graduate college was kind of when social media was becoming like a potential job opportunity in the sports space. Um, I, I graduated in 2015, so probably around my junior year, 2013-ish, like, that was when it sort of started to become a conversation. And I really liked, it really appealed to me because it was still sort of the storytelling aspect, which I really enjoyed about reporting and obviously the sports, which I really enjoyed, but less of just, you know, it, it allowed me to be a little bit more creative. And I think at my heart, maybe because I'm a huge Gators fan for better or worse, but I struggled with like non-biased reporting on the Gators. I wanted to like, support the Gators and and have that be a part of my work. So I loved the idea of social becoming something that I could, you know, hone my creativity, but also like it was my job to promote the, the team. So um, anyway, from there, I actually randomly lucked into an internship with the Tampa Bay Rays after I graduated. Somebody had just left in the marketing department um, right before I'd graduated, gotten a full-time job. So I had an interview. Um, I had a contact so random. My parents were rebuilding our house and our financial advisor. I always joke that my mom like took it upon herself because I would say, you know, like all my friends from college and whatever, like their parents know somebody in their respective fields. And both my parents were in the medical field and they were like, well, we don't know anyone in sports and communications. It's like, right. fantastic. So she would ask everyone, it would be like our neighbors, somebody she sees at the grocery store. So actually our financial advisor still currently my mom's financial advisor, but at the time knew the vice president of marketing at the Rays and passed my resume along. Somebody had just left. And so they called me and were like, do you want to come in for an interview? And I started like the next week, which was so random and so, so much fun. Um, from there, I actually moved to Cleveland for a year. I kind of, my Rays role was a little bit more on the marketing, more on the marketing side. Um, and I loved the social aspect of it. I think we had launched a Snapchat at the time, which is again, <laughs> totally hilariously <laughs> archaic sounding, but we had launched a Snapchat and it was like the new thing. And I got to run that and I realized I liked social. Went from there to a full-time internship with the Cleveland Guardians in 2016, which was so much fun. Um, and then I came to the Phillies in 2017 um, as part of their newly minted social team at the time was with the Phillies for five years, actually then left in 2021, moved back to Tampa to help run social for the Tampa Bay Lightning, and then have recently come back to the Phillies about 10 months ago, probably now, um, more on the marketing, general marketing side. So it's kind of funny. I started general marketing, moved more into the digital social, and then ultimately transitioned back out of it. So um, that's my very uh, long-winded, <laughs> convoluted answer of how I got to where I am. No, it, it's amazing, honestly. Like every every person that I've ever come in contact with that's in this industry has some sort of, you know, not linear path to where they are, you know, like, I mean, you're saying you're dating yourself. Like I, I graduated in 2011 and like TikTok wasn't a thing. You couldn't put video on Twitter. Like there was so many things where it was like, yeah, Snapchat was the brand new thing. And, yeah, um, the hot you know, yeah. So, uh, so no, I, I definitely feel you there. And I went to college in no, middle of nowhere, Michigan, <laughs> oddly enough. So, um, where, where in Michigan, uh, Adrian, Michigan. So I Adrian, honestly, I haven't I, heard of it. that's hilarious. So I didn't even, I actually only used Michigan as an example because one of my <laughs> classmates went to Alpina for, for a, okay. like his first role. Yep. Um, and I remember being like, I don't even know, like I couldn't even point that out on a map, um, no. but that's really funny. I did not even yeah. know that. No, I think if you uh, if you blinked at the right time, you'd probably miss where the town was that my school was in. It was like, are you from Michigan originally? No, I'm from Pittsburgh. 
Oh, okay. Yeah. So it's How been did you get uh, to Adrian, Michigan. So for me, I mean, I, I, it was all about hockey. Like I played baseball and hockey all growing up until high school, basically had an offer to go play at a prep school, play hockey, but it was like, I had to pick hockey or baseball and I could hit people in hockey. So I went to play hockey. And so <laughs> everything, enough. everything from there, it was like, how do I, you know, how do I make sports my thing? And obviously I wasn't good enough to, to make it all the way, but, um, but you know, college was Adrian college. They were just starting up their hockey program when I was going to college. So it was like, the offer was, you know, it's a division three school, so no scholarships or anything, but it was like, you can, you know, basically help us build this thing from the ground up. And, you know, it was basically a whole class of freshmen with a couple upperclassmen. So it was like 20 of us coming in together and going through it all. So it was, it was a lot of fun, but like, yeah, that's cool. But then like, I didn't know what I wanted to do with, with my life. It was like, I love to like paint and write. And there was, you know, the creative side, but it was, you know, I was an athlete for so long. So it was like, what job is out there that can merge those two things together. And it's like, you know, Facebook was just barely a thing when I first was in college and stuff like that. So, um, you know, once I got out, like I ended up with a job at the the local speedway in Michigan and I thought it was like a video role. And my boss called me in and said like, you know, I'm not living up to expectations because she thought I would take over all the social accounts. And I was like, Oh, didn't know that was part of the job, but sure. <laughs> consider it done. So it's like, anytime anyone asks me, like, how did you get into this? It's like almost by accident, you know, by happenstance that it just kind of worked out. Yeah, I do feel it. That is funny. And I feel like you're right. Especially like people like around, you know, our age group that started when this <clears throat> started to become something that people were actually hiring for. I feel like it did just sort of become that because I, like I said, I was more on the marketing side for the raise as an intern. And then they're like, Oh, like we're, we should probably create a Snapchat account. Like, do you want to run it? And I was like, okay, sure. And then I was like, why well, this is fun. And I'm like, I like doing this. So maybe I'll, I'll continue. So yeah, definitely, it's, definitely funny. It's wild. Yeah. And especially like the, the staffing that people have for, you know, their social teams now. And it's like, I, when I started with the Steelers, I was their first social per like full-time social person. And I got hired by, the VP of IT was my boss at that time. So it was like, it's so funny to see how far things have come from, you know, basically just being like, yeah, you know, it's technology, like you're in IT to now it's this, you know, this whole behemoth of an industry. Yeah, it is. It is funny. That was kind of similar with me with the Phillies. Like I had come over in 2017, I think. Um, and they had had MLB had had in, in game coordinators. So basically like MLB staffed, people who are, who are tweeting and one of my former colleagues who ended up kind of moving over to the Philly side, but that's kind of what their social team was him as an in-game coordinator. And then I was brought on and really the two of us kind of tag teamed it for, for a few years there. So um, it is really funny how that has changed. So, wow. 